Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yumir Felix de Los Santos Marshall. Muli na namang magbabalik sa ibabaw ng lona sa darating na Abril 9 ang ating pambato sa middleweight na si Yumir Marshall para sa kanyang ikalawang professional bout. Pakakatapat ni Yumir ang Amerikanong si Isaiah Hart sa isang 6-rounder bout. Gaganapin ang bakbakang ito sa Virgin's Hotel sa Las Vegas bilang undercard sa Super Welterweight Showdown sa pagitan ni na Erickson Lubin at ni Sebastian Fundora. 30 anyos itong makakatapat ni Marshall at may height na 6'2. Medyo may katangkaran nga lamang talaga ang buksingerong ito. Pero tingin ko malaki ang chance dito ni Marshall. Kakagaling lang sa knockout loss na itong si Isaiah Hart. At hindi naman din mga kilalang buksingero ang mga nakakalaban nito. Itong si Hart ay may kartadang 6 wins, dalawang kanyang talo at may isang draw. Sa kabilang banda ito naman si Yumir ay kakasimula pa lamang sa pro boxing. 1-0 kanyang pro record. Pero sa amateur naman, eh, meron siyang 70 and 18 win-loss record. 26 anos pa lamang itong si Marshall at may height na 5-11. Disyembre ng taong 2020, tinalo niyang Amerikanong si Whitfield sa kanyang unang professional bout. At nakarantaon lang, impresibo ang naging Olympic run na itong si Marshall sa Japan na kung saan nakapag-uwi nga siya ng bronze medal. Ngayon sa pagtuntong niya ng pro, Si Marshall ang inaasang mag-aangat sa bandera ng bansa sa middleweight division. Bibihira lang kasi talaga na magkaroon tayo ng ganito katangkad na buksingero. 1930 pa nang nagkaroon tayo ng middleweight champion. Yun ay sa katauhan ni si Ferino Garcia. So sana nga si Marshall na ang susunod doon at hopefully ay magtuloy-tuloy yung kanyang success sa ibabaw ng boxing ring. Ayon kay Gibbons, kung sakaling impresibo ay ipapakita ni Marshall ay posibleng bibigyan pa siya ng tatlo pang laban para sa taong ito. At dahil nalalapit na ang laban ng ating pambato sa middleweight, panoorin muna natin ang highlights na kanyang naging laban kontra sa Amerikanong si Andrew Whitfield. That's his, senator himself. That's his idol right there. And that, I think that's every Filipino fighter's idol is Manny Pacquiao. And, you know, sad, sad to hear his brother pass away, but... Also good to see him be able to pull it together and get in the ring and do what he loves to do. Well, not only that, but Manny Pacquiao says with Marshall, he said he's focused on trying to become a gold medalist, the first gold medalist from the Philippines. He said that that is exactly what his father's dream is, and he said that he thinks that that's what's keeping his father up. He has heavy hands, and there's a straight left back it up, Andrew Whitfield. Yeah, he's got heavy hands. I like to see him. Oh, but he just got tagged by Andrew Whitfield. He nah, got He nah. had a right hand. He had a right hand. He's, he was shaking it off. He okay. was shaking it off. <laughs> Showing a good beard. But the paper maker and Andrew Whitfield certainly came to fight. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Ooh. This is what we know about being amateur. Yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I'm, I'm surprised to see him not use his feet a little more and not use more hand speed. A lot of amateurs, they, especially when they first turn pro, they're, they're mostly hand speed and foot movement. And I'm surprised not to see that from Marshall. A straight left followed by a right hook from Marshall. A right uppercut button with Yumir Marshall as Marshall looking to unload. 10 seconds, guys. Andrew Whitfield. Yeah. Stop at the bell. Looked solid against Andrew Whitfield in a one-sided entertaining affair. It was one-sided, very, very uh, sharp fight by Marshall. As, uh, like I said, I did right now. He is tough. He is taking some shots. There's, there's been at least three or four shots now that he's taken right on the chin that I thought he would go down. So. There's a big straight left that connected by Yumir Marshall. Take those punches, create some space. And, and use a, a good jab and, and punch from the outside where you're not susceptible to being hit. There's a left to the body and a right to the body. It is now under 30 seconds remaining. The right eye of Andrew Whitfield swelling considerably, but he still continues to charge forward. I tell people all the time to the States, particularly in LA with Freddie Roach, but if you're a southpaw, it works to your advantage because uh, Freddie has a liking to, 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 you know, works under, or, you know, Marvin Simone works under Freddie Roach as well. And now Marshall just teeing off on Andrew Whitfield. 
65 seconds to go in round three. Yumir Marshall looks terrific thus far, right to the body, but Whitley made this fight easy by boxing and staying on the outside, but instead he just wanted to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Yeah, to so use your skill and, and, and your experience to wear down the fighter and then to try to take him out. Final moments of the third. One more round remaining with the pro debut of Yumir Marshall. Right here, both guys just going at it. That space right there. You see Marshall just take one small step back and unload with a left hand. He needs a little bit more space so that he can get off and not take any punches back from Whitfield. And he's staying committed to the body, which is very good as well. Marshall has landed 84 power punches. Whitfield just 35. But both men certainly tested each other's will. Roach. They said, he said, let... Whitfield's corner led Marshall Martin. If that was the game plan to start, would you have had a little more success tonight? Because now he's starting to really touch Marshall up. Some guys just have this itch, this love, and you can see that Whitfield has it. What about you, Mir Marshall? What do you take away from his performance tonight? I can see a lot of holes, but I think those holes will be uh, uh, corrected very quickly. Final moments. And the 25-year-old will go the distance. Sierra Marshall.